Well, welcome to Warrington Trent. Uh, I know you've only been here a few days, but how are you finding everything so far? Yeah, thanks. Uh, it's been good. Um, you know, the transition's been pretty smooth. The club's made it, made it pretty uh, easy to come over. They've, they've helped us out with a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, all the boys and all the coaching staff and they've made us feel welcome. So I'm uh, really enjoying it. You had a chance to look around all the training facilities at Padgate. What are your thoughts on those? Yeah, it's good. It's a good little setup there. It's um, yeah, def definitely uh, they're very professional over here. Um, you know, the clubs, the medical staff, and all that sort of stuff is it's very uh, yeah, up, up to up to scratch for sure. And obviously, you're going to uh, back to Australia for the pre-season training camp. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it on the flight again, but um, no, it should be good down there. It's, I think the boys will, will have a really good time down there. It's, it's a good spot, good jeans right on the water there. So. Uh, hopefully the, the weather will be kind to us. It wasn't wasn't too good when I left, but um, yeah, I hear it's I hear it's been hot there the last few days. So um, yeah, it should be a really good camp. And so, what do you think the, the team will benefit from an experience over there ahead of the start of the season? Yeah, it's a good chance. I think we're training with uh, with South and uh, uh, the Swans as well, and doing some sand hills, so it'll probably be pretty tough. But um, yeah, I'm sure they'll get a fair bit out of it. Um, you know, it culminates in a game against South, and uh, I think that'll be a great lead up towards the uh, Super League competition. And obviously before you came over here, did you follow the, the Super League quite closely and what, what made Warrington stand out? Um, yeah, it's hard over there because we only get one sort of game. Well, it's late on a Sunday night, but once I knew I was, I was coming over, I kept a close eye on Warrington. And um, yeah, well, actually, uh, when the opportunity came up here, I, I spoke to a few on uh, Hicksy and um, yeah, they couldn't speak high enough of the place. So um, yeah, it just ticked all the boxes that I was looking for and um, yeah, jumped with a chance to come over and, and, and play here. And I've had a look at the stadium today. Um, what, what are you looking forward to for this game to run out here in Warrington, Warrington Collins at the, uh, the Open Games? Yeah, well, that's, that's one thing that stood out. And I watched a few of the games. Um, you know, there's always a full house here, and, and, and we've got a great atmosphere. And um, yeah, really passionate fans, which is which will be great. And um, you know, I spoke to Luke Lewis as well. He played over here in the test test match, and he says a little ground. So um, yeah, definitely looking forward to the atmosphere and, and getting out of here, playing some, playing some good footy. And uh, the, the players there uh, told you about the local derbies and uh, the intensity of those sorts of games as well. Yeah, I know. I know they're pretty big on their derbies over here. I think um, is it St Helens and, and Wigan, two of the two of the big, big ones. Yeah, uh, so yeah, they'll be they'll be great games and uh, definitely ones I'll be I'll be penciling in. So have you been over to England before before now? Yeah, I've, I've come over on a few tours. I think I've been three times over here and, and always had a good time and always enjoyed playing here. You know, the, the little grounds, but you know, great atmosphere and they're all pretty. They're, Fans are close to you, and um, yeah, they just they're right into their rugby league, and they, they get right into it. So um, yeah, it's always been a great place to play, and, and I'm looking forward to the season. And so, where did it all start for you? When, when did you first get interested in rugby league? Um, well, it's, it, you pretty much caught up with it in Australia, especially out, out west in Penrith. It's it's uh, it's done one game, so we're out there, and my old brother played, and my dad was into his footy. So um, yeah, I started when I was about six, and yeah, I've played ever since, and just loved it. Yeah. Are there any particular players that you looked up to whilst you were you know, obviously developing the career? Yeah, I used to, used to look up to guys like uh, Free, Free Fittler and uh, Brad Clyde and um, you know, I, used, I used to love, love the camera side in the, in the early 90s. You know, guys like Big Mal and, and Laurie Daly and guys like that. And, um, yeah, they're, um, they're a great side and, and I really love watching them. So other than rugby, what sort of things do you do in the set time? Well, it's like golf. I actually uh, live in right near a golf course, so um, when we come back I'll bring the clubs and yeah, I'll, I'll be, I'm like good at it, but um, and I've got a couple of kids as well, so they, they take up a fair bit of my time, but um, they're still at home, so I'm missing them a fair bit and looking forward to getting, getting over there and seeing them.